Inside of the Tower of London is a secret that today remains lost to time. The dungeon of Little Ease was an oubliette, a tiny cell where some of the most infamous prisoners found themselves locked up inside of the Tower of London. Little Ease was a very small and cramped hole in the wall, but one of the most famous prisoners, Guy Fawkes, was even locked up in there following being racked. Little Ease is not on view inside of the fortress today and may have been bricked up, but the stories that emerged from it are harrowing. It was a physical torture and also psychological torture. But why was it so bad and why was it so incredibly feared? The oubliette as a dungeon is known for being a torture and execution method in which a prisoner was thrown inside of a cramped room with no chance of escape and they were literally forgotten. Some oubliettes, such as the one at Warwick Castle, were so small that a prisoner had to lie in one position and they could not crouch or stand up. But the prisoner also found themselves having to contend with rats, excrement and other terrible things inside of the oubliette and this even included the rotting remains of the person who went in before them. It would have been pure psychological horror knowing that the only escape from this prison was death. But inside the Tower of London, the oubliette there, Little Ease as it was known, was used only a handful of times. Torture on the whole was not the most prominently used in the Tower, and it was only used in the most serious of instances. We know that Little Ease was a 1.2 metre square cell, which had no windows and was very cramped was a suffocating space where there was little opening for oxygen and some have claimed that it was in fact just a hole inside of a wall that had a hatch where a prisoner would be locked inside of. A shutter would be pulled across then locking someone inside of it. Little Ease was used for the most serious offenders and those prisoners who needed breaking and information extracting regarding a serious plot for example. One man who was held inside of Little Ease was John Board, a guard or a beef eater who worked inside of the tower to imprison people who had committed crimes. Board fell in love with the female prisoner, Alice Tankerville, who was accused of stealing from Henry VIII along with her husband. The pair had allegedly taken a significant amount of the king's gold, but Alice Tankerville fell in love with her jailer, Board, and they, as they planned on escaping. They did manage to get out of the tower's walls and they got past a gatehouse, but they were then stopped by the night's watch. The fellow guards in the tower were furious with Board's actions and behaviour, and with this they subjected him to a brutal ordeal of torture and beating. He was battered and even racked, but then he was allegedly thrown inside of Little Ease after he was beaten severely. He was finally hanged in chains above the walls of one of the gatehouses. Further examples of prisoners being imprisoned inside of Little Ease. It was said, on the 3rd of May 1555, Stephen Haps, for his lurid behaviour and obscenity, committed this day to the Tower to remain in Little Ease for two or three days till he may further be examined. Also on the 10th of January 1591, Richard Topcliffe is to take part in an examination in the Tower of George Beasley, seminary priest and Robert Humberson, his companion, and if you shall see good cause by their obstinate refusal to declare the truth of such things as shall be laid to their charge in Her Majesty's behalf, then shall you by authority hereof commit them to the prison called Little Ease, or to such other ordinary place of punishment as hath been accustomed to be used in those cases." and to certify proceedings from time to time. But Guy Fawkes was the most famous inhabitant of Little Ease, and he was locked up inside of the tiny cell to help extract information from him about the gunpowder plot that he had been so instrumental in. We know that Fawkes was racked very severely, but it's also considered that he was placed into Little Ease, and this for some time was known as his dungeon. 
The small cell would have forced him to crouch over for some significant time, placing further aches and strain on his body, which had already been wrecked by torture. One of the toughest parts of Little E's and the small cell was the psychological aspect to the punishment. Prisoners did not know what time of day it was, how long they'd been locked up there, and also if they were ever going to be let out. It would have been completely terrible, and the cramped conditions would cause issues to the limbs and also the back, which would have been excruciating. It was one of the torture methods used at the tower, which became lost to time. And today there is little inside of the iconic fortress that alludes to little ease, the terrifying oubliette of the Tower of London. Thank you for watching, and to support, please subscribe to Her Remarkable History. Thank you.